Hi guys, got another very cool uh, little everyday carry knife for your consideration. This is the Cold Steel Mini AK-47. and This is a sweet little knife. Um, you may have seen my review of the uh, full-size version of the uh, AK-47, and I really wanted to break them out into two separate reviews because I really kind of see them having, you know, two very different uh, uses. The full-size one is, you know, kind of a full-on set tactical knife. This thing is just a nice little everyday carry knife. Um, and it comes in right around 2.9 ounces, which is a little bit heavier than some of, you know, like the just super lightweight stuff out there. You know, like sub 2 ounce stuff, you know, Sog Flash 1 and, and uh, you know, may, maybe Buck, Buck Light Max, uh, uh, yeah, Spider Co. Delica. Um, but you do get a little bit extra strength uh, with this knife, and it's still very lightweight, very manageable. 2.9 ounces is no problem whatsoever. So, um, I, I really like it. Your blade on here is very, very nice. Um, it's made out of that, uh, well, it's not marked on the blade, but out of that uh, Aus 8A steel. And um, I, I like the steel. It's, it's a, a good choice. It's easy, easy to sharpen, holds the edge well, takes a very fine edge. And you'll notice they did uh, a really nice job on the relief edge on here. You don't have to uh, reprofile this or anything. It should be easy to sharpen. Um, so really the only downside to Aus 8 steel is that it can rust, so they, they did put this uh, this black coating on there, which should help uh, prevent rust. Uh, it will wear just like any coating, but um, should help. If you're really worried about it, just keep some mineral oil on, uh, on you know, all the exposed metal on here, and um, that should help you in high moisture environments. So a really nice blade shape, uh, good belly in there, should be you know really nice for slicing, uh, that type of thing. And also uh, decently thick, uh, I think right around three uh, three millimeters thick. Uh, so nice thickness, and it's hollow ground, so it's a nice slicer. It's a good broad blade. Um, it's just really a well designed little everyday carry knife, and it has a, a fairly strong tip too. You should you're not really gonna have to worry about breaking the tip off on this. Um, but again, delicate enough, fine enough that you could you know take, try to take splinters out or something with this if you had to. So you know it's not like you know totally blunt or anything you, you can still do some detail work with this but very strong so uh, you know the, the blades pretty much perfection uh, the uh, the locking mechanism on here is their uh, pretty popular triad lock and I really like the triad lock if you're not familiar with it you can check out the diagram on their website but basically I'll show you with a uh, little bird metal arc here so this is a traditional back lock you see the uh, the blade just locks up to the uh, lock bar on here what they've done is they've basically put, let's see if we can get the camera to focus, put a, uh, a stop pin in between the uh, lock bar and the blade. So that stop, stop pin takes all the upward forces. So that really kind of improves the, uh, the uh, durability and strength of the, uh, of the lockback design. So very strong knife. And, um, you know, I think you'd be hard pressed to make this thing fail. It's about as close to a fixed blade as you can get in a folding knife. Um, closest thing I've seen. And it really is positive lock up too. Um, you know that that lock that lock bar really goes deep into the blade, and uh, it's really a bank vault like lock up. Very very strong. Um, now you can adjust the uh, the pivot point if you need to, but I don't I don't think you will. It's also a smooth knife. You know some some back locks are very stiff or, or kind of gritty or whatever. This is light and smooth, easy to open, really nice. Uh, so you also you can take the, the the knife completely apart if you have to. Your handles on here are a uh, a very high traction, very aggressive uh, textured G10. I really like that. Uh, it's nice. Uh, really locks the the knife in your hand. Now you'll notice that I have smaller hands. This thing fits in my hands great. But maybe if um, if you have really big hands, you might find the handle just a little bit small. Um, you know, I, I had a friend of mine who, who's a bit taller than me, bigger hands, and to him that the handle was just a, a little bit small. Uh, but I, I love it. The ergonomics are great. You can really lock in there. Um, no jimping on the top. You don't really need it in this. Uh, you have very, very nice texturing, and it's a little everyday carry knife. You don't, you don't need that much, uh, that much grip anyway. Um, and you also have no steel liners in there. I love that. Uh, so this is just solid G10. Helps keep the weight down. This G10 is very tough. You don't need steel in there anyway. Uh, your clip on here is uh, adjustable, so you can you can put it on the uh, right or left side. So this is a, going to be a completely ambidextrous knife. 
um, you know, back lock, or a triad lock, I should say. And you can put the clip on either side, which is great. Now, it is a curved clip, so it just comes with another clip uh, that'll, that'll curve to the side. So that's great. Um, now, you do have that high texture under, under that, uh, that clip. So that could, um, I don't know, maybe shred your pockets a little. So I'd recommend just popping the clip off and just, just you know, sand just a little bit under there. Uh, just to kind of knock down the texture and uh, you should be good and shouldn't have any issues with your pockets getting uh, shredded. Uh, now it is a, a, a Taiwanese produced knife. Some people take issue with that. Um, you know, I prefer stuff to me in the U.S., but the quality levels are great on this thing, so eh, it doesn't bug me too much. Um, you do have a lanyard hole right here uh, in the back which is great and that's in your aluminum pommel now you'll notice on the uh, the full size that's a very pronounced uh, kind of striking device here they've really kind of drawn it back a little so it's not nearly as large and I like that for a little everyday carry knife you don't need like a big you know strike device um, so you, you could do a, a non-lethal uh, hit with that um, that would really hurt if you if you put that in somebody's thigh or something but um, you know, it's very non-obtrusive, unlike this one, which is a bit bigger. So, uh, I like that. Uh, now, also, it doesn't ride super deep in the pocket. There is a little bit that sticks out. Not a huge issue. I mean, it, the clip's very strong. You're not going to lose the knife. I, I wouldn't worry about that. Um, and just a little bit sticking up does make it a little bit easier to get out. Uh, honestly, if I had the choice, I'd take a clip more like the, uh, the Buck Vantage or something that, that's just super low. Uh, this is this is my preferred, but I can deal with this. Not a big deal. Um, so really nice. Now your opening mechanism on here is this thumb plate. Um, and that's not something that I, that I've really used all that much. It's all right. Um, I don't know. You have an Emerson feature on here, which, which that does provide. So you can wave this off your pocket, um, which is which is a nice feature. But it's not something that I do all that all that often. I I, I mean. I don't know. I, I, I'm not huge on the waving uh, the knife off the pocket thing. So, um, I don't know. It, you, yeah, I feel like you could hit people or, or stuff behind you. Um, so, I don't know. It, it's there if you like it, but it's, you know, you don't have to use it. Um, and uh, for op just opening the knife, it works great. Um, now, on the bigger knife, I, I did kind of ding it a little. I, I wish the thumb plate stuck out a little more. On this, not really an issue. Easy to get open. Um, totally fine. So uh, overall, for just a, a, a very durable little uh, everyday carry knife, this thing's fantastic. Uh, you can't go wrong with it at all. Not to mention, it's just cool. <laughs> I mean, it just has very nice lines. Um, it's just a sweet little pocket knife. Uh, very nice. So I'll give you a little size comparison to m some other stuff. These do run around 55 bucks. So uh, not the cheapest thing out there. I mean, you can get a Spyderco Delica for around the same price. So, you know, and, and get a little bit better steel on the Delica. But this thing's stronger. So, you know, I think it's definitely worth the money. I wouldn't call it, you know, like a super high value or anything. But it's definitely, definitely uh, well worth the money. So, you know, if you like the design, uh, I wouldn't hesitate to, uh, to pull the trigger on this at all. Um, very nice little pocket knife. Well worth it. So, um, here is the... Uh, Kershaw Skyline, another great knife. Now I'll show you the uh, thickness comparison between these two. Pretty similar. I think the the AK is a little bit, a little bit thicker, but it, it's not really that thick of a knife. Pretty pretty comfortable and carry. Um, here is the uh, Cold, Cold Steel uh, Voyager, or um, not Voyager. That's the uh, Buck Vantage. I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, here is the uh, Benchmade Mini Griptilian. Kershaw Leak, K Bar Dozier. That's a cool knife too. Well, this coloration at least. So um, I don't know. Here you go, Bird Metal Lark. So hopefully that'll give you a little bit better idea of the size. Um, lightweight, strong, cool, nice steel, good handle. Hard to go wrong with. So if you have any questions, uh, feel free to leave that in the comments. I'd be happy to help you guys out. And uh, everyone have a nice day.